Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome back for another story time with Mr. Kepke. Tonight, we're going to read, I Just Want to Say Good Night. This is by Rachel Isadora. And this is a really good story to end your day. So, lay down, relax, sit back, and just enjoy. On the African Veiled, there is a village. As the sun sets, parents tell their children, it's time for bed. I never liked hearing those words as a kid. Lala greets her papa, who's been fishing. Oh, you caught a big one, she says. Yes, it was a good day, papa says. It is time for bed, Papa tells Lala. I just want to say goodnight to the fish, Lala says. Come, Lala, Mama says. I just want to say goodnight to the cat, Lala says. I think she's procrastinating just a little bit. She doesn't want to get in bed. It's getting late, Mama says. But I just want to say goodnight to the bird, Lala says. Lala! But I just want to say goodnight to the goat. Lala says. She's giving everything a good night hug and a good night kiss. It is time to go to sleep, Mama calls. But I just want to say good night to the monkey, Lala says. Come now. Mama says, but I just want to say good night to the chickens, Lala says. It's getting later and later and later, and Lala is still awake. Oh, Lala, Mama says, I just want to say good night to the little ants, Lala says. talking to the ants. Some of you guys can relate to this because I guarantee some of you guys are procrastinating going to sleep tonight. I'm just not ready to go to sleep, Lala says to her dog. Woof. Now, Mama says, Yes, yes, I'm coming. I just want to say good night to this little rock, Lala says. Lala gets into bed. Sweet dreams, Mama says. Good night, Mama. I just want to say good night to my book, Lala says. Good night, moon, and she whispers and she smiles. And after that, she went to sleep. Now it's time for each of you to go to sleep. And I want to tell you good night and let each of you know that I love you so very much.